race fans, race fans, welcome, welcome, one and all, to Final Fantasy Randomizers, the co-op tournament, summer co-op, 2022. We are exploring the desert, trying to find all the items we can. I am St. Von Jester, with me is one master, he is Woat, how are you doing today, sir? I am doing very well, because that is a much more dramatic introduction than I would have done. Good work, SCJ. Why, thank you, Woat. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while, but... Welcome, folks, to another installment of our co-op tournament, and do we have uh, an interesting setup uh, tonight. Um, there's a lot to go over, uh, so we're kind of just going to have to jump right in and speed run this. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we won't bother going over all of the flags because, oh lord, there's a lot of them. The there's so is, many. <laughs> the important things to know is there are no black belts in this seed. What a shame. Um, yeah, I know. I my heart. I'm so, I'm sad. Uh, I wanted to see so many black belts to see. <laughs> uh, but we do have a uh, forced fighter, um, and we have some very interesting blessings. So fighters are going to start with plus twenty magic defense. So who even needs black belts? Um, as well as um, giving the party an extra uh, two hundred gold out the gate. Thieves are going to basically be able to milk Vorpal level. Uh, crits out of a cat claw when they can equip them, and they can throw axes on out the gate. Uh, red mages get luck and vitality, who cares? White no mages cares can throw on uh, the shirts as soon as we find them, but the one that has to be the most excited, we have white mages who start the game with exit already learned. And <laughs> this exit is level one. So for people who are fans of the exit, boss, get... Get excited. We are absolutely going to see at least one person accidentally exit out of a dungeon tonight. Oh, that's, it, I, I, it's, I'm going to be excited about that. But we have one more blurse that I am actually very interesting to, interested to see, Woke. That's and right. And that is, that is the Black Mage who has Wood Adept. Do you, you want to explain that for people like me who don't know what that is? I mean, to be fair, I didn't know what it was until about five minutes ago. Oh, so, no, no. <laughs> Wood Adept gives the Black Mage the ability to equip the various pieces of wooden armor. If they have all three pieces equipped, they gain plus 120 evade. I am Groot. That's all I'm going to say When if if we get that. That, that is what it is, because that's exactly what I, what I think it is. But I yeah. am Groot that nukes things. <laughs> yeah, so just to kind of give an idea of what you're in for, uh, we do have both entrance and town and floor shuffle on, and towns can be at any entrance, not just among themselves. We don't have deep towns on, so, you know, we got that going for us. Um, I believe the way it shakes out, we will have four loose items on the agenda, but um, that's fine. It's floor and entrance shuffle, you're, You're going to be exploring player. anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Those are some of the major ones. We do have uh, character recruitment behind fiends. So there is an incentive to confront the first round of fiends. Even though they shard hunt. This is probably another important thing to bring up. Uh, runners are going to need 32 shards in order to get into the final dungeon. And while this is a co-op match, and they do have the ability to... Um, what's the phrase I'm looking for here? Share information and share key items. Shards are not shared between runners. And they've got to find them all. Each each player has to get those 32 shards to get access to the Temple of Fiends. Yep. Uh, so they're not necessarily going to be confronting fiends, although the fiends are an excellent source of shards. They're like Wheaties. But for whatever noun replaces the word shard tonight. Um, We've got the game changers and the simps, son, as our teams. Will Cleosis, Falcon, and make up the game changers. Sal and Simp and Gedly, Getty Lee Simp make up the Simps sons. Yep. And we're going to be getting started here very soon. Mm -hmm. One and last thing to note. Immediate Melman. That's nice. And a quick flame sword for Will Cleosis. Yeah, so they did start with some uh, weaponry. Um, Rub fire three, ice and fuse at level one on the black magic. Mm -hmm. And we've got that exit, and we've got a rub. Throw rings are nice and cheap, and a plus three. Yeah. 
We do have blessings. All, all weapons are blessed. So we're not going to be seeing any disappointing equipment tonight. Everything is going to have bonuses on it. And they're probably going to need it because the scaling is robust. robust. I do not like the fact those peers are so cheap. But that's just... I might be a little biased. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you, you, I know that you don't have uh, your your partner in crime for for team. I know. Puzzle, oh. Just you remember, Mr. V. Just remember, SVJ. We wouldn't have been able to hear it anyway. Oh darn. <laughs> All right. So question, I will imagine it. Chat. While everyone's kind of getting their uh, bearings over there, um, what do the teams share? Uh, mostly key items. So anything that appears in the item menu um, is shared. Ex well, all right, I take that back. You see the trackers here. That's pretty much everything that gets shared. That's the way to phrase it. Yeah. Yeah. You can if see that it's actually... Go ahead, go ahead, Lord. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if they weren't doing a shard race, they would also be sharing fiend orbs, but... Yeah, that, okay, so Topher was at Topher. Yep, that that's not a bad find. You don't have Canaria yet, so we're still looking for that. Salonsimp is heading up to what you may be Matoya's Cave, but probably not. Oh, run into some wolves, though. It, it, if this isn't Matoya's Cave, I'm going to question if this whole thing's been randomized. Well, they got Fire 3, so... Yeah. And the meantime, a lot of money in Topher, though. Yeah, I was going to say, well, I saw that a minute ago that we had the 64k. Oh, but we do have an early monster in the in a box. That's us ogres and greaves, and we have fire. So, ooh. Yeah, magic shops. I do not believe have been shuffled tonight, so that makes it a little bit less um, useful to find an early Lefane. But you know, we have Melman. As soon as we find a slab, we're good to go for uh, visiting Lefane. Wilkleosis does make quick work of Garland with that fire, flame sword and that fire three. Yeah, plus five flame swords. A really nice sword. Bones have gaze, though. That's not good. <laughs> and they're unrunnable, which is even worse. Well, what makes it really bad is uh, Marsh Cave is one of our, like, Marsh Cave is one of our two incentivized uh, chests. Getty Lee gets taken down by a creep. Ugh. Falconic also right. makes quick work of Garland. The bright side to that game over, that's another flag I wanted to bring up. We do have save on game over, so even if you take a wipe, you don't lose any of your progress. That's always a good thing. I've many, many a race, many a seed woad I have wiped in Ice Cave and Marsh Cave and... Ooh, but... <laughs> Falconic ooh, just wiped down in, uh... I don't think he wiped, um... He may have reset, but... Yeah, he reset, because he, um, went right instead of left, kind of. I think he tried to anticipate the flip before, because we do have that flag on. Um, and then realized after the fact. Oh, but Will Cleosis found a shard in one of those trap chests. Always a good thing, but it's wolves with ice, too, though. That's... And they're, uh, abundant in many, many areas. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's... As many floors have wolves on them, um, that's going to be nasty. At least the players did start with a, a handful of tents, so they can at least get out of wolf country in the short term. Well, Con think it's revenge on those creeps. Harm too. I like I like that flag too. Well, where the harm actually does what it is supposed to do is harm things, not just yeah. undead. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that the randomizer has inflicted with wounds. Mm hmm But that may just be because I really like casting inflict wounds on things when I play clerics. Uh, Lit 2 right, so... and Lock 2 in level 3 magic. That's very nice to have. Stun was also there that I saw. Yeah. Getting that wood armor for that black mage. Wood plus 4 right there. 33 gold. I mean, that's just... Pick it up, Selen. Solid... Pick it up. It's just really solid armor for a black mage in general. Um, Bane Ice 2 and Quad X at level 4. That's nice. Yeah. And we did also... Uh, Life at level 4, but it is red mage locked, so... That could be a pain. 
Also, as a gentle reminder to chat, I am also technically the tracker here. So yes, thank you, Woe, for doing double duty. If something gets found, um, please shout it out, because it, otherwise... Scream it. Yeah, otherwise, there's a non-zero chance I'm going to miss it, because we're only going to see it once per side. Well, I do want to also give a quick shout-out to our restreamer, ADR. Thank you very much for filling in at the almost barely last minute, you know, taking time out of your day. We appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, this, this was kind of a last-minute uh, situation, but... Yeah, we got it all pulled together. It's great fun. Sounds kind of going through the marsh right now. Got some gray imps and some werewolves. Yeah. Getty Lee Getty. finds uh, Mirage 2. Ugh. <laughs> Chimera yeah. is just making quick work. Five hits for yeah, in say, that northern that's castle. Gotta be, that's got to be Northwest Castle mm -hmm. judging by the background. So. For folks who may not be familiar with how entrance floor shuffle works, the way you can kind of tell where someone is is by looking at the battle background, because the battle background will take on um, sort of the logical background for a given dungeon uh, or location. Um, Getty Lee does get out, though. Guards, though. Yeah. Oh, got away. Wow! So, we've already seen four of our towns here on the southern continent. Um, five of our towns. I didn't see where uh, Crescent was, but that is a cube. Got a cube town. from the old man. Yeah, go ahead and get that highlighted over there. Oh, okay, that was a marsh cave. Huh. That's good. We don't... <laughs> well, <laughs> marsh cave that is still possibly incentivized. That's... What's this yeah. monster in a box here? Catman in a sa- Ooh, can you get away from that? You don't have any fades. I don't know if I Ouch. Catman makes quite work of Getty Lee. Ah, Go back and in. here is our herb. Uh, I didn't see if Falconic grabbed it. Um, but our herb is for sale for 20... It looked like 22... Well, no, like 17k in Elfland. You got that 65k, it's still worth a heck of a god. Well, the, yeah, but everyone has been spending like crazy. Yeah, he didn't grab the herb yet. Uh, yeah, no, everyone's been spending a lot of money on gear. Yeah. Um, you got the money. It's good. It's That's a good investment. Yeah. And I didn't see on the simp side if they grabbed the uh, herb. I have, I have, I've been watching. I have not seen that yet. I just, Selen is currently in, uh, no, they do have the on herb. carry floor. So. Yeah. All right, cool. So the Simps have the herb, and I think we'll just grab the herb for uh, game changers. Because only one person needs to buy it. Yeah, and arguably, uh, as soon as Falconic gets that herb, Will can just reset and get his money back. That is true, because you can get Which the herb, that, and, you just, and that's exactly is. what the, you just saw. That that's why Will close his pause there, waiting for Falconic to get the herb. Falconic's got it. Will's going to be able to pick, get it very shortly. And it looks like we have the ice cave uh, loop at the bottom of Marsh Cave. So these oh, floors that are connected by the drops, uh, for folks who are unfamiliar, are the uh, are all going to be grouped together. They're basically treated as one floor at the bottom, and then there's a staircase that'll take you back out of this, this dungeon. Oh, that's good. They, they didn't message that. They didn't mess with that exit, which is great. Um, yeah, and there is a canal uh, here on Carry Floor. It looks Very like nice that was in up. the Link Chest, actually, uh, in Volcano. So that's also just good intel to have if you remember what all chests are connected to those boxes on Carry Floor. And we got Selen. He's currently in our favorite, favorite place, Castle Ordeals. And of yeah, course... I just like, just like everything that's randomized. Ooh, red gar gargoyles have blizzard, though. Those those pillars are also randomized. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's ordeals in uh, Elfland Castle. I'm not sure we saw what's in Elfland proper. I have not seen that yet. Yeah. Now, it is one of those things with floor and entrance shuffle, especially floor shuffle. You do. You always want to check your link chest because you do not know when you're going to find the place you usually open that box. Absolutely. Well, Cleos does pick up the cube for the game changers, so Falconics will be getting that cube very shortly. Yep. 
and Falconic just now coming up on that ice cave loop, so he's going to be joining uh, Getty Lee here in finding out what's down here in Ice Cave. Uh, Selen managing to push through the maze floor and is going to be popping open boxes here. Ooh, there's a crystal. In Loose ice. crystal, very nice. Yep. Sorcerers at the trap chest. They kind of hit like kittens though when uh, they don't have death touch and stun, so. Yeah, it looks like um, I wasn't paying attention. It looks like we don't have uh, spike tiles on tonight. Looks nope, like I did not see a spike tile yet so far, which is great news for the players. And there's a loose crystal for Falconic picking up right away, knowing that he does not have that. Fear plus four staff, though, could be useful later on, potentially. Fade's going to make quick work of these sorcerers. Still behind. Ooh, and there is... Uh, Oh, I forgot. You're right. I, I thought that was a different floor altogether. I just saw the... <laughs> I saw the Earth Chris, uh, the Earth Cave colors. I'm like, oh, it's Earth Cave! Oh, it's still Ice Cave. Alright. Uh, Chad Burton Chat helping us out there. It looks like um, Carrie Floor was in Elfland. That makes sense, because we hadn't seen that otherwise. And Spike Tiles is off. Yeah. Alright. Thank you for uh, providing the, the two of us with, for, with uh, intel, folks. All right, but Will Closis does grab the canal out of the carry floor. So we are, I believe, even up on key item discovery. That we are. And Ooh, we're... we're sword. We are really just mimicking each other at this point. I mean, you don't really have much choice. No, um, there, it, it's been a kind of linear game so far. You don't have a your canoe yet to go to Crescent Lake. Uh, you don't have a, bo uh, a boat or a ship to uh, make it through across the seas. You're kind of just doing what you can with what you got. Yeah. Hmm. A bottle, though, we do know where Gaia is. It, it is available. Did you see Gaia? We have seen Gaia. Okay, then that's going to have to be our, tra our transportation. But you got to get back around the ice cave first to get through it. Oh, no, you don't. Did you see what Falconic just did? Waited yeah, for did. Will Cleos to get that bottle. He got that bottle, and now Falconic's going to be able to get that bottle back here very shortly. Very, very clever. And Now, this is... Uh, I don't think we... Okay, where is Gaia? Gaia was one of our first towns we visited. No, that was Melmond. Oh, no, that, that was in... Uh... I swear I've seen Gaia. No, we've, we've seen Melmond, we've seen... Uh... Lafayne, we've seen Canary, of course. Yeah, I remember Lafayne. And, we, and we're in Crescent. Ah, oh, then. We're still Where's digging, it looks boat? like. Okay, we have a boat from somewhere. Uh, it's gotta be from Ice Cave. Or from, uh, from, uh, Castle Ordeals, because that's where, uh, Selenson was. That's, that's gotta be it. But we immediately get a canoe, so the world is our oyster. Nice and open now. Gas dragons, however, are not very friendly to see here. At the same time, though, that's that's good eat. Yeah, it's good eating, and they got plenty of hit points for it. Frost, though, that's going to be uh, some Yeah, the double frost is, is not uh, necessarily delicious. They're also unrunnable, so we kind of had to fight them either way. Ow. 232 on that Sidewinder fade, though, which is nice. All right, yeah, there we go. Will Cleos is uh, pulling the ship out of that... Uh, incentive chest here in Ordeals. So. And he does pull the exit out of the White Mage, and there is his ship. And, of course, we have the speedboat on, which is amazing. One of, Another one of my favorite flags is this nice speedboat. Yep, so... Will Cleosis... Oh, not going toward the Melmond area. We know that from Selen's side that that canoe is hiding in this dungeon in the Melmond location. We do need uh, to take a moment, though, that Falconic is currently fighting Carrie, and Carrie, or Kelly... Does cast slow. Fades are going out though from the white mage and that red mage. Two hundred damage apiece. Ice sword does miss because of that slow spell. Uh, I, it's not even. It might also be. Why don't we have uh, buffed dark on? Uh, Inks. Wow, that's gonna be a potential as well. Yeah, we don't have buffed dark. Slow, but yeah, right. sidewinders do take it out. Fades, nice and easy. Level fourteen and sixteen across the board. Yep. Does get a black else? mage for his trouble. Will Cleosis going ahead and uh, heading over to look for uh, Bahamut. Did and find a Katana plus five. 
no Cisco. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's... You could find a thief. There might be one hiding behind one of our fiends. And this is very interesting, too. And you touched on this not too long ago, Woat. Because it, it just blew my mind just two seconds ago. That map that Will Cleosis is on is flipped, isn't it? It is. That right, is look, amazing. Big changers do at least grab their canoes. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, things have kind of slowed down because... Uh, Getty Lee's kind of been in motion, and Selen has been uh, clearing out chests here in uh, wherever we are. And it just dawned uh, on me that we're water. Uh, that's water palace. Well, the, no, oh no, we're in Melman. Selen is is under Melman at the moment. Uh, well, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, he at least knows that there are slivers down there. So. Mm -hmm. For folks who have not picked up on it yet, all of Ooh, our shards... Ooh, nice. That's two key items. So, Although I do not believe that Selen had picked up the princess yet from Temple of Fiends. I think he wiped in Temple of Fiends, so that's why he doesn't have, him yet, have her yet. That, that's that's infuriating. I mean, at least it's a quick trip back, but it, it's annoying because, like, you can't even have your friend go and do it because Getty Lee Simp is literally on the other side of the world. But he is picking up the Ruby from Sarda, which is a good pickup there. And we also get the Adamant on the Simpsons side as well. Yeah, now we already, yeah, we grabbed that from Cell inside, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so you kind of just traded items there. They got the Ruby and the Adamant, which is great. But yeah, so. <laughs> so like grinding on these, gr these dragons, it looks like. Getty Lee checking a few things. Selen, uh, using the dwarf dock to make that quick run back to Temple of Fiends to kill Garland, get the princess, so that we can go back and find out what the princess has. Meanwhile, um, Getty oh. Lee is heading to Ice Cave. Yeah. And it looks like Falconic is about to... Ooh, that's a branch. So that's bra gross. Yeah, so branch floors for people who are unfamiliar with floor shuffle are... Um, fun. Fun is the word. Very because fun, indeed. You could have a long dungeon under both sides. And that is Oxyale. Uh, we have not seen Onrak yet, nope. I don't believe. I, so I have not seen Onrak yet. Yeah. So that Oxyale... Oh, and Will Cleosis finding uh, Northwest Castle. Somewhere. Astos there. Yeah. Almost does the exit boss, like you were just talking about, Woat. It, it's <laughs> inevitable. Oh, here's Gaia. Astos in the in the uh, swamp area. Ow. 14 damage. 240 swamp from area. that. Oh, oh I bet Cleosis is... Uh, you know, I'm just going to wait for Will to, to leave. He gets a chime for his trouble. And a slab for Falconic. Lab. Okay, so Astos was at uh, Crescent Lake. I don't know where we found a crown, but we must have had it. <laughs> it's the miracle of modern video games. Whoa, it just appears. <laughs> well, with all, and we still have we we have four loose items, and we can't keep track of everybody. We are doing our very best, chat. We're doing everything we can. Yeah, that, that's the thing about co-op, is things move so fast, and you don't even have the advantage of a normal four-way where, you know, everyone's going to do the same thing, so you get four chances to see something. Once that key item is found, you're done. You're, like, did you're you know that uh, Getty Lee outside. class changed? Because I just found out. <laughs> I have... Okay, so I think that means... Um, Bahamut had to have been... At the bottom, maybe, of that Melmond? Possibly. Potentially. Yeah, that class change happened a minute ago. That had to have... Oh, no! Getty Lee, you're right. So that had to have been at the bottom of Ice Cave. Will Cleosis uh, translates his slab. He's going to go see what's over here. It's a rod from Lefane. 
I like how we have all of these unblocking items and uh, no have... dungeons to find them with. <laughs> yeah, we have yet to see any of the floors they're needed for. Also, I forgot to highlight the adamant for the game changers. That's their fix. Thank you, Wood. Yeah. So, uh, so right now the main advantage of the simps is uh, like Getty Lee has been exploring the river system where the game changers have kind of committed to leaving the southern continent in the dust. Provoka, though, on Will Cleosis' side. Yeah, um, that's Which that's is Mirage Tower. tower. Yep. Level 2 magic here, which is going to be nice to see. Lamp. Fog 2. Fog 2 is actually a really good yeah, pickup. Yeah, I was going to say, there, there's... Will's going to pick up Lamp, right? There's Nuke and Brack and Zap. Of course, he picks them up. That's right, you do. <laughs> that's that. I think that's gonna be the level two black magic for all four players. And look at those pretty pirates. Did you just exit? Well, <laughs> do we count that as the exit boss? I don't know hey, if we cast it. Floater. Nice. <laughs> so that was the adamant turn in, and that is at. Uh, okay, so there's Dwarf Cave at Bahamut. And a ribbon plus five off Bicky the Pirate. That's big. He's even handing it off to, uh... Yeah, he's, oh. he's slapping onto that white mage. That is not leaving the white mage until maybe chaos. There's some stake on the on stake field there. All right. Um... Our restreamer tonight, ADR, coming through clutch, letting us know that the loose crown was in dwarves. Thank you, ADR. Yep. So. Stake giving Will some trouble. And there's some red. Oh, we got away from those. Yep. Falconic's heading straight towards uh, Bicky the Pirate. He's heading straight towards to get that nuke spell. Yeah, I. That, that is the play. Will Cleosis, meanwhile, putting his nun out front. In case folks are wondering when exactly the pirate class got added to the game. It didn't. Oh no, okay, so he's using his second map man as, uh... Yeah, as his little, as his walker, man. yeah. I like it. I just realized Exit is also a level one spell on the, uh... <laughs> on the table. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's it's terrifying. Um, ice three, blind. Blind's actually not a bad spell now. It, it'd be very useful against Kraken and Carry. But life also, two yeah, is Red Mage two. Learnable, which is great. Yeah, life two and heal three. I believe both of those are Red Mage, so. 23 minutes in. Will Cleosis is the first person in the air. I, the simps shouldn't be too far behind. They, yeah, they're, they're kind of just... All, all the players are currently just kind of doing the same thing that the other players have just done. Whether it's the simps that had to go to Dwarf Cave to get the uh, the adamant and the and the floater. Uh, you can see Will Cleos is now he's going to go get some carry action. Yeah, I don't think this carry is going to last very long. With nukes and fades and... Yeah. The question is, is he gonna go ahead and grab the black mage? With oh, a with that nuke spell, I would definitely be grabbing that black mage. Yeah, I would too. But you know, it's one of those things. Um, Seven hits for thirty-four damage, not too terribly bad. Falconix just blows past the uh, the spider, the web room there. I mean, there's not really anything to pick up right now in there. Uh, and this looks like we have a bunch of Mirage stuff. This looks, I think Falconic is in the Ordeals location at the moment. He does get hit by a sentry, but that's fine. We won't be seeing yeah. a Warmech, because he's... Oh, there he is! Hey, Warmech! Yeah. Bye, Warmech. Yeah, we do have patrolling Warmech tonight, and Falconic had an opportunity and didn't take it. Oh, but uh, Getty Lee finding the bottom of... Uh, Oh! Scums with nuke! Oh no! Okay, so waterfall, it looks like. 
Oh no, no, okay, so it's on rack as the uh oh. incentivized floor of Marsh Cave. And oh there's two me... more! Get out of there! Get out of there, Kitty! <laughs> oh god, it's scum! Oh he got out! He got out! First <laughs> turn nuke! Oh lord. Oh that's gross. That is extremely gross. Getty Lee probably leaving to just go get an airship. Yep. <laughs> oh my lord. That is painful. That... Will Cleosis does take out Carrie though for the first orb of the game changers. Yep. Uh, there, and... there is an orb on the Simpsons side as well, by the way, on the fire orb as well. Okay. So yeah. Um, so at this point, we still don't have a key. We still don't have our loot. Um, we do have a lich though, on Falconic side. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's a speed uh, bump, uh, technically, but. Well, it's not as much of a speed bump tonight. The scaling on these H on are, are you are you sure about that? Okay, <laughs> they had to use more than two. Sp they had to take more than two <laughs> actions to kill the lich. Therefore, it is not a speed bump. <laughs> Very true. The castle yeah. ordeals is that lich floor, and he just gets that out of there. Just makes quick work of that lich. Yeah. So for an extra scaling. You go ahead. Uh, for an extra couple shards there. I believe it's four for every orb, yes? No, uh, no it's two, two shards for Lich and Carry, four for Tiamat and uh, the other guy, Kraken. Kraken, yes. Uh, yeah, so boss stat wise, we are looking at bosses having between uh, 120 and 250% of their normal stats. And the uh, HP on bosses is going to be between 150% and 300%. So everything is going to have a bit of chunk to it. Someone and... is actually currently taking out all of the chests here, trying to find out anything that he can. Yeah, well, I mean, as we noted, every trap chest has a shard in it. Mm-hmm. Um... So, unless you are going to be hunting themes, you do need to find some of those. And that is Like a, a loose TNT. TNT! So... And an unrunnable eye. I'm With a little bit of chunk. Oh, well. Not too terribly much chunk in it. Well, a lot of good experience points for selling. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm help me uh, keep an eye on the simp side. I'm pretty sure they had to have found that chime. Yeah, 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 I'm pretty confident about that. They did find some dragon armor, which is really nice, too. Um, he does want that slow two shirt. Yeah, well, I mean, that, you know, white mages can just go ahead and throw that on without clash change. Problem is, neither Selen nor Getty Lee are holding up on the, uh, on the white mage, though, so. Gas dragons on Will Cleosis' side, though. He's yeah. got nukes and fades. He does put a black mage on front, though. <laughs> well, um, Rich actually pointed this out in chat. With the wood gear, you... That's some really good evade tanking up front. Not when he's dead. <laughs> well, yes, but you can't exactly dodge, like, breath weapons. That is true. I mean, you're not incorrect. <laughs> exactly. Saber... Saber Gauntlet. And, nice little... Yeah, uh, and we find the loot from Matoya. I think this... I think that means we have a really good chance of the key being on Narek with that TNT in hand. Yeah, or it could be in that marsh cave. <laughs> I think I know which one the simps are going to try first. I would try Narek first. <laughs> with with nuke scums, yeah, I would I would be going to Narek right away. Yeah. Uh, at least whenever they get done with the dungeons they are in. But it looks like Falconic's gonna Yep, he's heading to Onrek and the and the waterfall. So he's gonna get some very interesting news in about a couple minutes here. Uh, not even a couple of minutes. We know that those scums are basically right off, are like one of the first encounters in the table. Yep. And they nuke hard and they nuke fast. Now. Oh, he did not go to Onrek. He's going to check out Waterfall first. That's actually not a bad play. There's nothing in there. You just reset and you're right in front of Onrek. Yeah. No, I, I like it. Yeah. The other thing, Falconic. 
did, um... I don't know well, Speaking of waterfall, there it is! <laughs> yeah, and it looks like we just have flip waterfall and not proc gen waterfall. Yep, it's just a nice flip waterfall. As for some of the people who are joining us a little late as this crowd grows, you can see that the maps themselves are flipped 180 degrees. So... It, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes not, but as a lot of them are... Yeah, it's uh, literally you, uh, everyone right now is in a backwards map. You can see uh, Getty Lee down there on your bottom right-hand screen with a... <laughs> yeah. That was no, just... Yeah. Just confused me. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Getty Lee is in a backwards armory floor. Wilkes is in a backwards uh, Agama floor. Falconic's in a backwards waterfall. And I think Selen is in a backwards uh, Sharknado floor. I think all four of them are on floors that are reversed. Nasty. Flame oh, plus four right. armor and some opal armor. Therefore, uh, Falconic. Red. Those red gargoyles are just not playing fair. Literally not playing fair. Well, yes. They're red gargoyles. No one likes red gargoyles. And apparently we found a plus four Vorpal sword. That's right, we did. I mean, yay! Go, Vorpal! Yay! <laughs> not bias here. No. <laughs> but a plus four Vorpal would actually be really nice. They don't have the... I would really want to find that ninja or thief to use that, that katana, though. That katana plus five is just exquisite. Agree. Monster in the box ah. serves a couple, ooh, unrunnable wizards, of course, but we've got nukes, we've got fades. We're going to get another shard here on Mokalios' side. Yeah, I believe we still have not seen... The, uh, what Narek is hiding. We have not. I didn't see what the robot handed over either. That I did not see either. We did find a heal three gauntlet, though. That is nice pickup. Oh, yeah. That That is something that you you can spam in, in unrunnable fights. Looks like Falconic, I think, uh, faded uh, the Onrak uh, location. I don't think he peeked inside to see what... Well, he's uh, in it right now, actually, because he's in the bottom floor of... Uh... No, he's not. He's in uh, that middle oh, floor. Oh, he's in the second floor. That's right. You're right. Yeah. Did, did he run away from that before knowing the, the horrors that lie within? I don't know. Uh... Oh, he's still in the waterfall, I think, maybe. I don't know. The, the, this is the part where you look away for two seconds and you have no idea where anyone is anymore. Um, but Selen Selen's picking up another fighter. Lich, it looks like. All right. Falconic does find the mermaids, though. Not flipped or flipped. Oh, monster in the box, though. Lobsters. I think it's flipped. I think this is flipped mermaids. Cause Everything that, that is flipped. Water, that water thingy at the top is supposed to go left to right, not right to left. But Selen is finally going to get airborne and probably going to immediately go find out what that TNT has in store. So this is make or break it has, this race. It has to be that key. I think I think you're right because I think we've seen every other option. So yeah, basically this is what Selen. Uh, well, first he's going to go over here, so I believe that means they must have the chime. Yep. Yep. All right. He's gonna get Provoka. He's gonna get Nuke. He's gonna get the Ribbon Plus Five. But yeah, eventually one of these, someone on the Simp side is going to go check Nero. Now, I didn't see what the Giants did, but I do see uh, reactions to Giants, so... Yeah, Giants are not friendly. Alright. So, yeah, <laughs> if you are watching this on VOD and, like me, weren't looking, rewind, like, a minute and, and gloat over the fact that you got to see it and I didn't. I do it all the time. <laughs> Ooh, there's some slimes. Cousins of the... Of the, uh... Scums. Hopefully they don't have nuke too. I mean, that would imply that the scums got the Medusa script if they had nuke. 
well, we got that fire two helmet. We've got fire three spells. We've got nuke spells. We've got fade. It's these slimes aren't gonna be, or they're not gonna be very long for this world, and they're gonna be really great experience points. Uh, heavy on 27 across the board. Not too bad. So I think this is our first peek at what's under this oxyano. And Tiamat floor. Tiamat floor, yeah. No Warmech up here tonight because it's patrolling. But another chance to roll for that th for a thief. Not sure if they will take that though. They've got the uh, they've got that Vorpal that they love so very very much. The game changer. We can see... Oh, there's a white mage up here, though, it's which is very nice. Mage. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be seeing this white mage taken over the two new casters or the fighter. We do have a Tiamat on the bottom left hand, on the bottom left hand, but we've got Will Cleosa's heading towards Kraken on the top, uh, upper left hand screen. All right, well, this will let us know if uh, we can sell that katana or not. There's a red mage there. I saw him. All right, well... We are not going to be seeing that Katana plus five swung tonight. Because no one brought a thief, and... You can't our, get one. Yeah, none of our NPC pickups were thieves, so... Falcon making quick work of that TMN. Get himself four shards. Leaving that white mage to sulk. That's fine, there's a teleporter right there that it's too far! I am not responsible for the inability of a white mage to crawl. But we do have the rod for, I just realized, over uh, Getty Lee. And we do have that rod. They have the... I'm just fascinated by the fact that Selen hasn't uh, gone back for... Uh, like, neither of them have gone back for Nerith yet. Rack strats on that Kraken. Still ineffective. I mean, it, uh, uh, okay, if there is anyone who I consider highly likely to deploy the insta kill strats against fiends who isn't named Dang Wu, it's Will Cleosis. Absolutely. Will has won. Will has won tournament races by landing fortuitous uh, bank. And it's always glorious when it happens. So. Flame Sword's not doing too terribly well. Oh, there goes the Red Mage. Question chat Can we get a shard count? Answer Y'all are going to have to do that. We'll, like, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a shard count for you as soon as we are able to. Oh. Like, the, the only way that I think we're getting a shard count with the menuing these four runners have is if someone literally pauses and counts. Oh, is Will Cleos is going to wipe on Kraken? There's the key. Go... Vanilla key out of... Uh, Elf Prince. Elf the herb. Prince, which we've had since the beginning of the game. Uh, so, oh, that's good news for the game changers. That means they don't need that TNT that was in Spider Floor. Um, but I have no friggin' clue where on Earth... Uh, this castle is right now. Well, we're about to find out here pretty quick. There's not much else here. <laughs> this is true. Okay, it looked like not Rod shield. blocked. Alright. And since they since the Simps do not have a white mage, they do not have exit. So Getty Lee has to walk that key out. Yeah, I was gonna say, Adam, I think you're right. I think we're looking at um eight or ten shards for Getty Lee. Um, but Getty has been doing a lot more kind of covering ground, whereas Selen has been stopping to pick fights. So um, we'll have we'll kind of have to watch for Selen's side. Gray shards are pretty beefy. And ADR bringing up a good point. Uh, between the bag of holding shared by the team and save on game over, they don't technically need to walk this out. Technically not, but he's walking it out right now. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, it's one of those things... You also have to sit there and uh, you, you, you can yeah, take a look at Getty Lee's hit points. He's pretty high. I yeah, mean, you're, it, you're, 
you could potentially uh, run yourself down on those uh, those lava tiles and then get yourself killed and then restart. Yeah, but I think this is the top floor of this dungeon. Yeah, but Getty, uh, I mean, the other thing is I think Getty wanted to go back and hunt for, uh, and grab some of these shards out of the treasury. Alright, so Selling Meanwhile is going to let us find out what Neric has been hanging on to. Um... A ruse plus five staff. That is very handy. Yes, it um, is. For Temple of Fiends. And I believe that's the... Yeah, that's the only one we're going to see, so that is doubly... Pro useful. ring, a lot of cash. Nothing great so far, some more cash. Yeah. More cash, more cash. Neric not hiding everything, anything great, but that ruse plus five staff is going to, like you said, well, it's, it will come very handy in Temple of Fiends Revisited. Yeah. So I think... With, I haven't seen their menus yet, but I feel like the game changers probably have the shard advantage just because they... Oh, yeah! Yeah! I just saw that. Falconics, I think, already up to 16. Um, like, he had two full rows, and then over half of the next row. Because, yeah, the game changers have been fighting these fiends. Um, and that's huge. That is. Because, um, yeah, the Sips, I think, they just haven't been... Like, they've seen Carrie and Lich, but they They're about haven't... to fight. Uh, Selen's about to uh, see Tia. Okay. So, Selen gonna be pulling up closer to Falconic, but Will Cleos is still back where Getty Lee is, so... Yeah, he's he's grabbing all the chests right now. Yeah, Selen so... does make quick work of Tia, Yeah, so what I was gonna say is, teams... Kind of even. The big thing right now is I'm not sure the game changes have seen either the loot or the key. I know they have. They have key. not. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're trusting your eyes and not the tracker on that front, right? That is correct. Yeah, they have not found the rod block yet. Falconic's about to. He's in the right area. Yeah. All right. Giddy Lee does get his. Ribbon plus five. There you go. Yeah, so... Yeah, I, I think right now... I feel like the game changers have a slight edge. With those two black, uh, the red mage and the black mage, and that white mage being able to cast clear spells. Not, they've got a pretty significant advantage, although they find the birds. Well, Cleos is going to clean out the, uh, the ruby, I'm though. Pro. Yeah. Um, well, no, I'm just thinking, like, right now the game changers have a shard advantage, I feel like. Um, like, if nothing else, the big edge is the sooner that Falconic can get into the Temple of Fiends the sooner they can start getting intel on how bad it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Falconic, he just left, but he's going to head down to the basement right now. He's going to find that rod block, and he's going to go straight into Elfland. He's going to get his key. That's yeah. going to open up quite loot? a bit for Will Cleosis, because he, he does not have to come down here. The loot was in Lafayne. They have the loot. Yes. Okay. So yeah, yeah. They have the loot. Okay. They're going to get that key, which is... That's the last yeah. real key item they need. No pun intended, of course. Much. I was going to say, don't don't even try to pretend the pun wasn't intended. Okay, I'll, I won't lock it down next time. Uh, anyway, but uh, we've got... we got Falconic. He's heading down to... Oh, never mind. He's going to stop and get this box. The zombie party there. Faye's going to make quick work of those guys. Yeah, so the good news, at least for the runners as a whole, is none of them have to fight their way through scums. No. Scums the are bad. bad. <laughs> the bad news for us as uh, viewers is we don't get to see them have to fight their way through scums. <laughs> well, we did see Selen do it, so cheers to Selen. Eh, 
good enough. Hey, there are scums on the uh, on the earth floor. Just saying. Ooh, so we we're not quite. Oh, there goes a vampire. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. All right. So Falconic about to pick up this key from the Elf Prince. Is this even randomized? <laughs> um, Potential. Well, the floor was randomized, so that counts, right? Um. Yeah, I guess I'll allow it. I'm pretty confident cool. Falconic's going to shake his head here in a couple seconds here. Yeah. He's like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Alright. So, both teams now have all of their key items. They're just now actively hunting for shards. Um, and I believe Falconic it being the closest to having all of the shards necessary. A Braxstaff, um, however... Yeah, really convenient now that uh, he's already taken care of one of the two places you really want free bat brat casts. But he's not gonna. But if he decides to go kill that kraken for more shards, that's gonna be really nice for him. Because yeah, um, right now it's all about just making sure that you can survive these things. And lobsters, it looks like, have poison touch. Uh, TNT turned into the ruse stick ADR. Yeah, that's what it turned into. Um, it, the Vorpal is locked beh behind beh in Bahamut's area. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the ruse stick is a plus five ruse stick, though. Also, it's a ruse stick, and I don't see... Yeah. So, we don't have vanilla... Ah, okay, so the Vorpal was from the robot. Now yes. we know. Yeah, I'm sure Falconic did find it, so... Yeah, Wolf I... Wolf Lotus does not, has, has not made his way up there yet. Yeah. But he will very shortly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, the Fal... Yeah, Falconic definitely was there, because he was the one who was in Waterfall Cave when we realized everyone was in a reverse floor. Mm-hmm. So... Alright. So yeah, it looks like Falconic only... Falconic may go hunt down that Kraken, actually, because he knows where Kraken is, and it looks like that's about all he has left in terms of shards. Four or five He's shards. grabbing a few fiends. He's picking up some items right now. Picking up spells. Yeah. Things that he needs. Simpson, uh... Kitty Lee's gonna take care of the speed bump here real quick. Yep. There he goes. Yep. Alright. Uh, and is also grabbing that spare knight. So a bit less clear on the gim on the sim side, but we've got strong fighters on both teams. So that's really good. Yeah. So without that exit though, you know, and you can see what Falconic's doing right now. He's just checking chest now. He's looking for shards. He's not really worried about items anymore. Yeah, I yeah, it's definitely one of those things. That white mage has definitely helped the game changers in getting through dungeons quickly. Um, and that it the what lead they have right now, I feel like you can mostly attribute to the fact they can exit and the simps can't. That's correct. I would I would agree to that as well. Yeah. Nice little warp set. He's just grabbing these, uh... He's using warp, he's just grabbing the, the shards, and he's continuing on. This is what Falconic's doing right now. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just... Temper at level 7. Down on Getty Lee's side. Yeah. Yeah, and just kind of, you know, a a as an underline to what we've been saying about Exit, you know, it, it is unfortunate that Exit landed in the one place Red Mages can't pick it up at level 1. That is true. Um, and the white mages got it without even needing to pay for it. So, I, I, it's gonna be. I do feel like we should ask the Sims when this is done why they didn't uh, take the white mage, um, or reset for a white mage. 
um, once they knew that that exit was on the table and not Red Mage accessible. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things you can grab or grab it from uh, Tiamat. Yeah, so but they didn't his, know that. His change, yeah. You could still grab that instead of the the uh, second fighter, though. No, well, I mean, by the time... Actually, I has I even seen Tiamat? Hey, Selen did, maybe, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So Selen knows it's there. Yeah, but I mean, at this point, Selen's been enough places to where I just feel like the, the time where the White Mage was useful has passed by the time you get there. True. All right, Will Cleos is diving down to Elfland to go collect a shard. And that Braxton. <laughs> yeah, and Falconic, like I said, going to go kill Kraken, and I think this is going to push him over the top to have all of the shards he needs to get in. So... We should soon see what this Temple of Fiends has in store. And I would remind everyone, we have some serious scaling on these fiends tonight. Yes, we do. So this is... This is not over by a long shot. And the, the, This Temple of Fiends could... They call it the Equalizer for a reason. Uh, yeah. Uh, and beyond that, the other thing to take into account, the rules of this tournament, both the runners on a team have to finish... Uh, for that team to finish. So, Falconic getting in first only matters because it's early intel for Will Cleosis. Um, but game changers are entirely dependent on how quickly Will Cleosis can get his shards. So I believe Selen and Getty Lee are pretty even on shard count right now. Uh, yeah, and... Will, yeah, it looks like the two of them and Will Cleosis are all kind of in the same position shard-wise. So the simps, you know, kind of going to have a little bit of a disadvantage because they're not going to have that early dive to their credit. There's a Vorpal swing. Four hits and some change. No damage because he's too fast. Speaking of fast. Ooh! 11 hits on that Kraken. Yeah, but the fighter took them like a champ. Oh, that dragon armor, opal armor. Fades and nukes. Another 10 hits. 7 hits, 390. Not too terribly bad. Imagine, nukes take him down, though. Calamari? He honda a man, and he just stands there like a wall. Man, that's his job, though. But that, like you said, what that does put that does put him over those that shard count. Yeah, and we have the most convenient Temple of Fiends you can get at an entrance floor randomizer. Uh, looks like Falconic doing a little more looting. Maybe we miscounted his shards, or maybe he doesn't... I think he might be looking for some quick, easy shards for Will. Or a That's... potential good item. Possibly another ribbon, perhaps. There's a shard right there. Yeah. See, and there's a nice pro cape, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he's done looking for shards, but he's going to pass that intel on to Will. Yep, like that... Quick quick shard okay. here. Another two items there. Silver and a sneak. Not a trap tile, mind you. Just a random encounter. Nothing great. Yeah. And there's that exit spell what you were talking about not too long ago. Making it nice and easy to get Falconic out of there. Alright, so... We'll see what Falconic does next. But yeah, so... Well, he's got all of his shards. I, I are we sure he does? He does. I've seen it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he didn't He didn't go and open that shard chest. Uh, they're going to need 32 shards in total. He's going to see what uh, Neric gives. Uh, no, so he doesn't have the TNT. He's checking the Dwarven Treasury. Oh, they don't know. Because, yeah, I think... I, I'm thinking the thing is, is, like, Tiamat was not shallow. No. So, this may be him trying to scout out some quick shards so that Will doesn't have to go on a Tiamat dive. Yeah, 
Yeah, also What's ADR, up? I think it's... Yeah, you're right, it is six to a row. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, so, yeah, you're right, so... I'm not sure Falconic actually has enough. I think he does, but I, I can't... They're just menuing so fast, it's super hard to see. I think he needs to fill out this row, and then... Why wouldn't he have taken the, sh the, sh the shard opportunities when he had them? Well, we'll figure out what's going on. I, okay. I, I, I'm confident he has yeah, all of his shards. Yeah, he's got five rows of... Oh! Okay. He went back... He realized that he left Spider-4 behind. Yeah, he's looking for some quick items, uh, shards. There's some dragon armor that he missed. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to pick that so, up here pretty quick. Yeah, so he may go back for that ruse stick. Um, with that TNT, or he may, like, we may see Will Cleosis make the quick wrap around to dwarves to see what that TNT has. Um, well, right now he's in the waterfall. He's going to be getting his Vorpal here very shortly, which is going to make him extremely happy. Yeah. Yeah, all those and... nukes in that fade is really helping out the game changers right now. Oh, yeah. Um,. There's his Vorpal plus four. He's going to equip it right away. He's yeah, throwing away everything. He doesn't need that stuff. Yeah. Will's still got a lot of shards to pick up, though. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like Will's a little over halfway to what he needs. Um, Will is going to Onrak. <laughs> okay. Falconic didn't bother with this earlier, so... Uh... Oh, Will Cleosis. How much we... Oh, there's a muck. That's a muck. <laughs> So Will Will might be fine because he actually has like enough HP to survive a nuke, but he's also actually opening boxes, so there's no way he's not going to get attacked by scum. There's another there's a ribbon in the uh, normally incentivized chest. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. Not, that's not a bad pickup there if you can get it out. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure he's also looking. Oh, there's another muck. Every time he sees slime on Will Cleosis' side, it's ugh. It's it, yeah, but he's 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 full clearing this floor. There's there is a minimal chance he's not going to see a scum encounter before he gets out of here. Oh, like I said, he's looking for chests. He's looking for things he can find, like a fuse hammer or yeah. an axe. Not too terribly bad. Stellan sent me while did. Oh, there we go. Here's the scums. Oh, they're running oh. away from him. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hate oh, to man. see it. Oh, slaves. But yeah, so Selen Simbo is going to say, does... Uh, Falconic is going to... He should be in the... He should be he's in the grabbing scum. the ribbon. That's what he's doing. But he finds yeah. some scums. Oh, he got away. Yeah, I don't think... Will they know the pain? I don't think either of them are going to know the pain unless... That Selen like, went through in this... Yep, Will Cleosis is out. Yeah, so... Selen's just... currently on Kraken. Okay, he's yeah. taking far, far less damage. He's got a Sun Sword in his hand, though. Brack Beams. Brack Beam again. Ineffective, ineffective. Vorpal Sword. Three hits, 356. Moxa in, in Marsh. I missed that on Will Cleosis' screen. Like, probably because he didn't grab it. I don't think he did. Two hits, 222. He, oh, nine hits, 65. He may have. Brack again. Ineffective. Another Brack beam. In effect. Wow. This Kraken does not want to turn to stone. There's a Brack beam again. Yeah. Broken into pieces. There we go on Selen's inside. Yeah, that so is chat, one dead Kraken. Chat confirming Will Cleosis did find the Masa there, so Falconic knew it was there. That's not good news for the simps. They're not going back to that. No, they're not going after that. They're going to be reliant on that Vorpal. Is like their best weapon right now is that Vorpal sword. Yeah. But with two fighters, though, that's going to really reduce their damage rates. So you can put that Masa on that White Mage, though. For things that yeah. you need. Oh, never mind. Will Close has found out about the scums. Oh no! <laughs> Will 
Wilkleos has just learned about first turn nuke on the scums. Yep, he. And you, yeah. can, you can see in his movement that he is. He's I, never I was, going there again. <laughs> I assume he is mildly apoplectic in chat, right? In, in their voice channel right now. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, not just nuke scums, first turn nuke scums. Wilkleos is in the Tiamat. Falconix checking out the last couple chests here in the Temple of Fiends before I'm sure that he heads into the future or the past. A couple, little bit of cash, nothing crazy. There's an exit spell. He's gonna house up, then he's gonna go right back inside. It's a time loop. It's both the future and the past. Uh, just a smidge over an hour, though. We got the first player in the Temple of Fiends revisited, which is Falconic of the Game Changers. As this crowd continues to slowly grow in this amazing race between the Game Changers and the Simps. So. And we immediately have unrunnable gas dragons. Gross. Like the first encounter. Um, Alright, so yeah, Falconic gonna reset and see if he can get a better spot in the encounter table. Worms are pretty easy to kill, though. That's very nice to see. Oh, yeah. That is very convenient. Y you do not want... Well, I mean, we we do have a flag, though, Falcon... Oh, not from Falconic, but, whoa, excuse me, um, that I actually find interesting, that if you level up and get a magic point, you get all of your spells restored. So those... Those gas dragons may not be as bad as people may fall them out to be. I actually completely forgot about that flag. So you could take that first turn uh, gas dragon. They only have frost, but they do hit pretty decent. So I can yeah. understand why Falconic did not want to fight them. Yeah. It's still one of those things where, like... Excuse me. I'm gonna run away from these worms, though. Yeah, you... The, you know, the big trade-off is even if you get your spells back... You're Unrunnable still white dragons. After the, that fight. So I can understand why you wouldn't want to take Unrunnable fights... You don't necessarily have to. Oh, That'll absolutely. That'll do a lot of damage. But yeah, you're right in that, like, um, you can probably clear things out pretty quickly and get that MP back in short order. Especially burning those Fire Threes like Falconic is on those Ice Dragons. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you using that first level magic for? You have Rub, Ice, and Confusion on that spell level. Couple Earths, not too crazy a fight there. They do hit pretty decent. Yeah. Ren takes some damage, but nothing that Falcona can't heal through. More Earths, though. And he's probably not even going to heal before going into Lich. Selen is, yeah, Selen is also in the Temple of Fiends Revisited at one hour and three minutes. All right, so that uh, edge for the game changers. Um, not necessarily, um, like, it's enough of an, in it's a good intel advantage, especially with Masa handy, but, like, yeah, I, this is still anyone's race, I think. Yeah, this is still a very, very close race here. Lich is pretty beefy with those buffs that he's gotten. Two hits for 90 damage from the Masa is not doing a lot of damage. Fire 3 gets it done, though. Yep. Yeah, that might have been a situation where you swap on that Sun Sword. Because we do get uh, plus 42 uh, attack power on weapons when targeting a weakness. So then there's one weapon in this uh, place that you cannot find, and that is the Excalibur. It was turned off for this uh, run. <laughs> yeah, that would have been... Because that would have been broken. Falconic just going straight into carry, though. Interesting that he respected Lich, but isn't respecting carry. Seven hits for 128, though. That needs to be respected. Vorpal, three hits for 338. Lock two going out. Fast on that Vorpal user. Yep. Nuke spells going out. Harm two spells going out. Masa Oswald. hit. Four hits. 109. Not too terribly bad. Yep. 61 damage on that harm two. 10 hits for 395. Nuke going out. 300 damage. Slow two misses, thankfully. Uh, yeah, that that was a near thing. 
Fire three going out, but not going to kill anybody. Masa hit once more. Four hits, 96 damage. Vorpal hit. Ten hits, 496. Kelly still hanging out. Four hits, 184 from that Vorpal. From that Vorpal, Masa Mew does terminate, Carry, And we are on to water two. So ADR, our uh, restreamer and impromptu shard tracker, letting us know it looks like Will Cleosis and Getty Bra Lee broken are... into pieces on Will Cleosis' side. That's huge. Yeah. That's, enough, that's a plus four shard real quick. Selen is checking out chests. What's he looking for? Is he looking for that Masa? Uh, might be. These are well. These are also easy chests to check. Um. I don't hate looking for Masa here, but yeah, so Sel and Will, or not Sel, Getty and Will Cleosis are kind of, yeah, are about even on the shard count. So, remember, it's not who finishes the seed first, it's who finishes the seed second that determines these teams' placements. Kraken 2 on game, uh, Falconic's side, he's fast enough that Vorpal user, Vorpal hit, 8 hits, 502, lock 2 going out. Making Kraken easy to hit. Invis 2. We don't want to get hit by any of those eight tentacles. Thank you very much. Fire 3 going out. That's a good thing to see. Two ribbons on the front, too. That's going to help out Hawk and Rin. Fade's going to... Maybe Fade? Nope. We're going to go Nuke. We're going to go Nuke again. And Viz 2. Nukes for 142. Lit 2. Another good spell to see on this Kraken 2. We do not want him to hit us. Vorpal. 9 hits. 409. Invis 2. More evasion on these two. On these awesome fighters. Nuke going out. 200 damage. This Kraken is super beefy. As Woat did point out. Crack! Ooh, ineffective all around. It survives! Nuke 308 terminates that Kraken 2. Yeah. It says something about how we feel about Temple of Fiends that it's like level 30. And you and I are still sitting here just clinching through every one of these fights. It's rough, you know. Again, all these all these fiends here. Well, like you you said it earlier, there is a buff. They have a what 125 to 250 percent uh, stats, as well as up to 300 percent on their hit points. Uh, yeah, 120 to 250, and then 150 to 300. So, so we can see a very beefy chaos here. But first, we've got Tia two on Falconic side. We got Carry two up on Se on Selen Sim side. Lock 2 going out. Temper's going out on that carry. Invis 2. 5 hits, 397 on that Vorpal Wielder on oh, Falconic oh. side. Yeah, you, you, those Invises need to get up quickly. Vorpal does come back for 4 hits, 97 damage. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of evade on that, Tia. A lot of evade. I just realized Falconic doesn't have that ruse stick. No, he does not. He but he's casting ruse on that, on that fighter. He does, but that's at four casts of Ruse. I guess three. Nuke, 163. Selen is catching up. Nukes again. Fade. Here, heal threes. Keeping all of his white light warriors up the best he can. Yeah. Ice two. That's a, that's a spell we want to see. Nice easy spell. There's another nuke going out. 116. Nuke again on Tia two. 278. Vorpal. Seven hits. 305. That's a lot better damage. Nukes and fades going out. We need to take down this Tiamat right away. 90 damage. 545 on that Vorpal. Nuke takes him down. Tia 2 down for Falconic. Yeah. That is a lot of resources that have been expended getting to this chaos. Um, and some of it you get back, but this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting, because here's the thing. We haven't seen a lot of the bad stuff. No, we have not. Crack is the worst we've seen so far. And we've we've had some long fights. This chaos could be nasty. We're about to find out. One minute, nine seconds. Falconic for the first G. Rusing in Viz. He's not taking any chances. Fast on the fighter. Ruse on the fighter. Two hits, 263 damage on the fighter from that chaos. In Viz 2. More ruses going out. He is full defense right now. Lock two. Oh, no. Tempers. Fight. Invis two. There's a miss on Rin's side. Lock two going out, making it nice and easy to hit. Vorpal. Four hits, 335. That's good damage. Temper. 
very nice. Invis 2, more defense. Selen is catching up very quickly. Yeah, Mach 2 Selen, going out. Depending Nukes. on how... Go ahead. Oh, okay. Nukes, heal 3. Nukes again. Dep go ahead, Woke. Depending on how beat, uh, how quickly Selen gets through this, how beefy this Chaos is, we may see both of them fighting Chaos. We got heal 3s on that. Another lock 2 was just thrown not too long ago. Vorpal, 3 hits, 216. Very, very defensive Chaos we got here. Nukes. Heal 3s. Lock 2 is going on on that Tia, catching up. Another, that Roostick going to be really helping out Selen. Nukes going out. Talk gets murderized. Ooh. That is... Bad with Falconic. That is not what Falconic wanted at all. He's um, got that Masa wielder on Rin. Can, will the Masa carry out the game changers, Falconic? But the flip side to it is that's a red mage. Tempers fast. More tempers on that red mage. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a situation you don't see very often where it's a chaos who's hitting hard. But all four of our runners are into Temple of Fiends as Falconic is buffing up this red mage as fast as he can. He's got it. He, that ruse going on. He does not want to get hit a fast on Chaos. Oh, oh no. Yeah, no, because that's the thing. Chaos is going to have enough health. You, it, with his M death, you, you're you not. Two damage walk. from the Mazmune. Oh, no. Fire three. That's. I would rather see that and get punched. Arm two, 42 damage. Ooh, there's a nuke. Uh, there's a... Uh, so, fire threes. We're, we are pulling out all the barrels. 38. There's a nuke. He's ditching the Mazmine. 240. Rin gets missed. Heal three. Selen's about to figure out the bad news here very shortly. He does not have the Masa either to pick him up. Well, he's got a Vorpal, though. He's got a Vorpal, and he's got a Ruse stick. Yeah, that Ruse stick's going to be really helpful. Stop. Time yeah. stopped on that Black Mage. Harm two. 50 damage. Nuke spell from Rin. 109. Not enough. Another nuke spell going out. Harm 2 again. He's pulling out all spells. Fire. Missed that red mage. Nuke again. 113. More nukes. More harm 2s. Yeah, Selen going ahead. Getting the tempers layered up. Uh, Five hits. Takes out that white wizard. 295. Almost takes out Rin. 137. He is running, oh, running low. Off of Selen's Vorpal Wielder. With another, like, 26 off of that Sun Sword. Whatever. Oh, no. Chaos Zap. the Vorpal. Eight hits. 1321! Oh, Selen takes lost. out Chaos. Get a G in there for Selen Simp and the Simpsons. Oh, that double, the, the, the double fighter strat coming in clutch for Selen and that ruse stick off of Narek. 131. Yeah. Masa's co coming back into play here. 123. Keeping that keeping that red mage alive. Four hits, 266. There's a nuke from Chaos. Takes out the red... <laughs> There's a lit two. We don't three. care about that. Heal three coming out. You you know it's gotten desperate. But, oh, okay. Yeah. He's got, he's got to keep him out of nuke range. He's got to keep that out of nuke range. Misses. Yeah. Chaos missed. There's another fight. Missed again. Three hits, 534. Bane comes out. Ineffective, of course. There's another swing. Of three hits, 284 on that Masa. 419! Falconic wipes! Oh. Okay. The good news for Falconic is he does keep all of the levels he just gained. Um, so he's got to run all the way back. He's got to take out all the fiends. Getty Lee has an advantage now. He's got that, that double fighter strat. Sun Sword. Vorpal. Will that be the... Will that be the changer? Will that be the game changers that so give them the fight? Here's the other thing. Bear in mind, Getty Lee... Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, bear in mind, Getty Lee is... Um... Yeah. What am I oh. trying to say? Getty Lee has that ruse stick. I don't recall if Will Cleosis went and checked Narek after Falconic found the TNT. I don't think he did. I don't think they did. Chaos is hitting like a champ. Oh. That Roostick is really going to help out. Yeah, that that's the thing, is the Game Changers, I don't recall if they have that, if they know about the Roostick at Narek. 
And that ruse stick is huge, because, like I pointed out, these knights, they can learn ruse, but they get four shots of ruse, and that is not enough for the, the level of danger that you need to ruse your way through. Track. Oog takes out the black wizard. Do not That's know. Fine. Do not know if he's got any any lives. Getty, Getty Lee, Lee does have Getty Masa. Lee does have a Masa. Getty Lee does have a Masa. Masa, Ruse Stick, Vorpal Sword. I like Getty Lee's chances. Getty Lee has a great chance. Nine hits, 873 from that Vorpal. Does take down Kraken 2 on the Simpson side. Wolkleosis is on water floor. Falconic is making his way back towards Lich 2. Yeah. Um, Getty Lee picked up uh, the Black Mage as soon as he got through there. And Will Cleos is on Getty Lee's heels. So the game changers are going to need things to go very poorly for Getty Lee in these next two fights um, to get back in this. Will Cleos is likely going to finish on this dive because he has the intel to prepare accordingly. Um, Brack strats on Kraken 2. Ineffective. But, uh, Masa hit misses. Yeah. Ooh! There goes that black that black mage. Crack yeah. misses Wilkleosis. Yeah, Getty Lee, meanwhile, getting everything tempered up, going ahead and swinging at that Masa for 64. Nuclear come... Did we see the nuclear out of TNT? We did not see nuclear. Okay, well, that's something new. But uh, still, but everyone is fine, Get is rusing up, getting those tempers off. Um, Wilkleosis does make it through Kraken. Yep, going to be getting these lock twos on uh, Tia 2. We should start seeing some swings here. 10 hits, and 464. Yeah, that, that squares. This Tia is a fairly bulky lady. That heal three gauntlet that we've been sitting on half the seed coming into play for Getty Lee. Really 9 hits, 868 there. from that Vorpal. Yeah, and meanwhile, the Black Mage yeah. does go down. Nukes. That's fine. The Black Mage has pretty much done his job at that point. Oh, absolutely. Real, quad X. Issue. That's a Quad X that I saw. Yeah, the only real Vorpal. issue... 10 hits, 1,029 damage. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, the only real issue um, from uh, Getty Lee's perspective is uh, that Black Mage is not getting any refills dying in these fights. No. But... He's got enough. He's fine. Getty Lee, one hour, eighteen minutes. Chaos. Will Cleosis right behind him. Falconic right behind Will Cleosis. Yeah, Getty Lee needs to take this chaos down here because with the intel, with what the game changers now know about uh, this Temple of Fiends, they're experienced. They're good. They're going to get through this chaos fight. Masa, 22 damage. That's fine. The Masa is not the damage dealer in this party. It is the Vorpal. The Vorpal is going to do it. Masa again missed. Chaos misses that Red Mage. Temper still getting that beefy, beefy bonuses. Yeah, and that... Uh, Here comes yeah. the nukes. More tempers. And we do see the Vorpal-wielding fighter here. Saber. Sabering. Bruising, tempering. Fast on the chaos, though. That. Th that's fine. Everyone else in this Vorpal. party exists. 254, to get one hit. Oh, no. We're going to see two. Some that's what we need. There's the yeah. lock. That's that's yeah, what every, it is. That's the. More yeah, locks. Every, Nukes. Yeah, every lock in Getty Lee's arsenal is about to be unloaded into chaos. Hot until hits, 1,216 damage. Stop, though. That's It did miss Getty. It did miss the uh, Vorpal Wielder. Yeah, that's fine. Zap slain. Ineffective. Ineffective. Slain again. No more locks. That's fine. Six hits. 1,722 damage. GG on Getty Lee. The Simpsons have defeated the Game Changers. In game one. In game one of this amazing race. GG yeah. to the both of them. So that is going to be an official race bot time of 1 hour, 19 minutes, and 25 seconds. 
uh, for the simps, son, to take game one. Get your uh, GGs in chat. Indeed. Well, Cleosis is now getting ready to fight Chaos. Lock. Fast. One fast on that fighter. Ruse. There's that fast. There's yeah, a Will ruse. He's got so the... Will has the the ruse stick. Will has the ruse stick. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought I saw him go and talk to Narek. I didn't think that Falconic had. Lock twos again. There's another temper on that Vorpal. There's a ruse. SVJ yeah, takes I... three hundred or four hundred damage. Stays up. That's right, he does. The Ablet of Shielding doing its job as Will Cleosis continues to buff this knight up to start letting loose with that Vorpal. Locked that Vorpal is going to do a lot of damage. There's another ruse. We know Chaos Chaos likes to hit, and he hits hard. There's a Cure 4. There's a Bane? Oh, no. Uh, he changed his mind. There's a lock. Temper. Saber. Five hits, 326 damage. That's the, that does take out that Black Wizard. Saber's going up on Will Cleosis with that Vorpal. There's a Brat Stick! Ineffective. Masa on that White Mage. Two hits, nine damage. There's the Vorpal. Eight hits, 1,230 damage. That is the damage that, Vor that Falconic was not doing to this Chaos. Brat Stick again, ineffective. 1,283 damage with seven hits on that Masa. That Vorpal, 263 damage on that Masa, and a fast spell cast on Chaos. Four hits, 533. There's another Brack Stick. Will gets missed. There's another Masa hit. Three hits and some damage, not enough. No, another Masa hit. Two hits, 17 damage. There's another Brack Stick. Ineffective. Uh, bye bye me. Well, he missed me already. Seven hits, 1219 damage. That does take out Chaos for Will Cleosis. Get a G out there for them, please. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, you know, you took chaos with you. That's the important thing. I, you know, I I did my job. I did it, you know. Yeah. So we do have confirmation Falconic and Getty Lee will not be able to join us. Uh, will Cleosis should be dropping in, and uh, no word on if Selen is going to be able to hop in. But we are at least going to be able to hear from Will Cleosis eventually. Well, we need to uh, watch Falconic kick Chaos's butt here. They After the one wipe, run back. It's the salty, exactly the salty run back. He knows what's going on. There's a ruse. More ruses. Got to make sure we don't not get hit. There's Everyone lovely, lovely listeners. Ruse is casting ruse on Falconic's side. So we know that he likes to hit. There's a temper starting out. More ruses. There's a. Oh, Brack stick. Oh, 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 no, never mind. More tempers. Change our mind. Invis 2. Keeping that ruse up on Rin. Two hits, 215 on that Vorpal right away. There's another temper. Yeah, I like going ahead and continuing to ruse with that frontline red mage. Oh, yeah. Because Chaos is going to be, is more likely to target him. So the longer you can keep that red mage standing the longer you don't have to worry about what happened last time where Hawk just gets face rocked and the fight goes off the rails. 166, one hit. Viz 2 going out. There's, a, there's the fast on Chaos. More tempers going out on that fighter. There's a lock 2. There's a nuke. There's a Ru... Oh, nope, changed my mind. There's a heal 3. Oh, Rin gets missed. Hawk dudes of damage, two hits, 476. There's a nuke going out, 117, kind of cheapo damage there. Lock two, going to be able to hit that chaos a little bit better now. Nuke, two nukes going out, and a and a Vorpal hit. Heal three for defense, 141 hit, nuke, 178. Nuke again, 163. Hawk gets blasted, but still lives. Heal three, restores him. We do know chaos does have that nuke. In the yeah, it gets about a nuke there. range. I don't know if the game changers saw that nuke. 
I don't think they did. 130. There's a ruse. Ozzy gets blasted a little bit. Not too barely bad. Heal three. Recovers the party. Gets Hawk out of that nuke range. Lock two. Making that chaos easy to hit. Out, out of nuke charge. But we still got tempers. Hawk gets missed. He really wants to kill that fighter. 190. There's a four pull hit. Two hits. 460. There's a harm two. 42 damage. Another temper going out. Keeping that Vorpal nice and sharp. We're going straight Vorpal. Three hits, 501. Everyone's getting... There's a nuke spell from Rin. 210. Still alive. Out of nukes. There's a fade. And we are seeing a lot of two weights coming out of the... Five hits, 1,113 damage. There you go. Get your other G out for Falconic and the Game Changers. Official time, one hour, 25 minutes, and 46 seconds. Yeah. What a race. Indeed, and uh, I believe I do see Will Cleosis waiting to jump into the booth. I don't have two-factor authentication enabled, so I can't drag him in. At I, There you go. Will, Will. Cleosis, the legend. How you, do How you doing? We, we, we need to ask you a quick question here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How are those scums? Um, something smells because, uh, the last five or six games that we've played, we've always run into an enemy with nuke on the first turn. Uh, it, it, it just feels like it's like something. Um, but yeah, that, that I made a two crucial mistakes. Um, and when I died to Kraken originally, um, that would have been the difference with me versus our opponents here uh, for me, obviously, but this co-op, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, those scums. Yeah, that that stunk. <laughs> yeah, if it makes it yes. feel any better, uh, I was gonna say, if it makes it feel any better, Selen saw yep. that about an hour, like probably half an hour before you did. Yep. Um. So it took them forever. Like I think Getty Lee finally went back in, and that's when they found the Masa. So y'all knew about the Masa well before they did. Um. We well, we got the Masa move really late. It was like one. Yeah, it was pretty. It was yeah. pretty late for you guys to get that. Yeah, um, we made a play to skip the bottom of Marsh, and then I wanted to go back to get the Game Changer, obviously, and that was out of the Waterfall entrance. And the bottom of Marsh was the first floor in the on-rack entrance. I'm like, we, we let this go. We only have the one ribbon. I'm going to take a look. They were both there. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> um, really wish we wouldn't have skipped it. Could have made a difference. A gigantic, gigantic difference early in a um, incremental time, potentially. Yeah, well, you, you yeah. did have one good advantage there on that white mage. You and Falconic both took the white mage while the simps did not. Uh, you guys were being able to exit out while they had to kind of walk everything out. Yeah. Uh, kudos, by the way, Will, in the fact that neither you nor Falconic, I think, fell to the exit boss. Nope, nope. No, what, never, what, never what was it. hoping? What was hoping one of you two would fall <laughs> to the exit boss? Okay, the game <laughs> literally forced you to take first level exit in the first slot. If, if yeah. any time was going to fall for the exit boss, that was when it was going to happen. Yep. Um, I wanted to send a message to anyone watching, anyone watching later. Uh, Falconic has something going on at home, actually. It happened about an hour before the match. He wanted to go ahead and tend to that. Nothing nothing horrible or anything like that. Not uh, bad feelings, not because, obviously, we're down a game. Nothing to do with that, I promise. Certainly. Yeah. I said, just get out of here, man. I'll, I'll go in. We got Wot. I have talked to you in forever. Thank you for doing the show and SVJ. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, no problem. It was, yeah, it was uh, a great race. It was an amazing race to watch. Yeah, no, I mean, it's one of those things the simps, I think, also had to bow out, so it's not like anyone thought anything of it. No, uh, no, no. But, yeah, but this so, is only game one. Yeah, this is only game one. It is a best of three. Y'all still have the chance to even the series up and force a game three. And I, there is a very good chance it's going to happen for the folks watching who, you know, may be wanting to, to keep up with the rest of this series. Like, these are two very evenly matched teams. Oh, yeah, this, yes. Um, but Will, um, mm -hmm. I, I, I can't ask you to directly quote things because I think like, um, I'll get yelled at by the admin team, uh, for asking you to quote things directly on this channel, but can you give us some idea of the words that came out of Falconic's mouth during that chaos fight? <laughs> he was not happy. Um, <laughs> it, it was... <sighs> Because he picked he, up he real the quick. The, threat, though. He he yeah. beefed up the he beefed up the the fighter. He yeah. got he put him in the third spot, and then chaos started just hitting him. And it's like, yep. 
he hit your fighter too. He hit Salen's fighter. He hit Getty's fighter. Uh, yeah, all the fighters that were holding the, all the fighters that were holding the game changer got hit. And yeah, he was uh, well. He was not happy uh, at all. I can tell you that. And I think they finished shortly thereafter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It wasn't too long. Yeah, yeah it was not too long at all. Yeah. So, so there's two Cullen... ways uh, that we can look at it from from our team's perspective. Was my mistake of not getting the magic on the Black Wizard when I realized. Until I had realized I have to keep him alive to get fast hits. Yep. And I wasted, uh, just again, incremental time there. And dying to Kraken in that big, long dungeon, That's it cost all. me so yep. much time. Yeah, yep. and it's all on me. Um, and, uh, you know, but hey, we're a team. We, we're, we're the game changers. We <laughs> ride together. We die together. Game changers for life, baby. Yeah. So I was going to ask. So Hashtag game changer. Alconic, mm -hmm. uh, I think, took out Kraken to max out his uh, shards, to, like yeah, his yes, last he did. shards. Yes, he did. Um, what was he looking for? Like, so he, he did a little bit of wandering around mm -hmm. after that. Was that him kind of? looking for scouting for shard spots for you will was he looking for more equipment uh what was what was your strategy there of holding off on going ahead and making the topher dive on falconic side it was a second ribbon we had a plan we had a path for me he had the path all mapped out he had he said you're gonna hit cardio forest you're gonna do this this we're gonna go back we're gonna hit those gas dragons you're gonna get good experience on them on melmond on your way back that'll fill out your shards so the path he had already mapped out for me um because i had went and checked it but it was a ribbon and I happened to find it just in that off on rack location, which is probably a bad play, really, <laughs> uh, in my opinion. But you also saw him going to, uh, well, he did the dwarf lock and the canary lock. He was ready to go. Yeah. Um, he probably would have yeah. taken the shard fights, even if he didn't need them, uh, maybe to get some levels. But he he was, yeah, he was he was waiting for his partner a little bit. Right, yeah. And, that, and Brevin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what we were kind of speculating on was, was he trying to find shards for you to keep you from having to go on a on some of the deeper dives or whatever. But that answers the question very nicely. So um, I guess uh, if there's anything else I'm trying to think of, uh, y'all's party, y'all's plan for party comp was pretty straightforward. You both kind of- Three majors and a fighter, yep. Yeah, yeah y'all both went uh, fighter rainbow once you had the opportunity. Um, the simps went uh, double fighter. Red, Red mage, mage, black, black mage. mage. Um, was there any temptation to forego the white mage when you saw that exit at level one, or are both of you, both of you are old hands at four entrance shuffle? Was that exit you weren't going to pass on exit access? Exactly right. <laughs> yep, dead on accurate. You no, can't, it, I mean, it was. You can't it, it pulled up. Yeah. You guys had a very very good lead, and you know it was just unfortunately that wipe that falconic took on chaos that really tipped the balance. Yep, and Hard. then I, like I said, I bummed around that long dungeon, and I screwed up. I didn't res the black mage for the fast. I gave, I had given the heal three gauntlet to the black mage on the end to heal up, to take out Kraken one of, of all people, and then I forgot to bring him back to life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we've all done it, right? You know, here okay. we are in front yeah, of I've you know many times. fans, and and uh, I, that's what cost me, like I said personally, and not getting the magic on the black mage. I don't. I don't know. Um, I forgot I wasn't too happy with the showing of the Vorpal as well. After Towards the end of Chaos, he was hitting one hit for 160 after he had, you know, played it correctly. Well, he was like, I, I, don't know if he, I don't know if he had the Saber Gauntlet. I know you used it, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think he had the Saber Gauntlet. He yeah. never used it. Yeah, I think Falconic missed out on, like, the Saber pickup and the Ruse pickup. Yeah, and that, I, I, I feel like that probably more than anything kind of kept him from stabilizing that Chaos fight was just, you know, he was relying on the fighter's natural magic, um, which doesn't get you very far. Um, but it's one of those things like, you know, if that chaos hadn't just beelined for his fighter, he probably would have finished before Selen did, and that yes. would change the complexion of things a little bit. Um, I agree. It, it was just, it, that chaos was just gunning for him every time. Every time I would call a hit, it would miss, miss, and then he got blasted, and it's just... It was one of those three and two fifty six chances. He had the best, you know, the best of AD could, and it just wasn't enough. Yeah, he had evasion, and he had. Uh, I mean, he had dragon. He had Aegis. Yeah. He had. I didn't have the dragon, and he was in the third slot. And um, I know he got hit for four hundred, and that's yeah. that's that's pretty hot. So he was he had some power behind him. Yeah. Yeah. He. Uh, yeah. Chaos yeah. was not. Chaos was juicing. That's what he was doing. He, yeah. He, he was getting pretty drunk. Did y'all want to see the nuke on Chaos? By the way. Falconic did the first time. Okay. Yeah, Falconic yeah. saw the nuke. Um, 
I believe it was uh, Selen who saw the nuclear on uh, Tiamat. Tia too, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. I don't know. That's no, why I was preparing no with the heal three, the heal three gauntlets, in a yeah. preventative thing because I knew it was going to take out the black eventually, and I, you know, then I could heal three on the white mage because she had that Mazamun that was only going to do two hits anyway with that type of strength. So, you know, warp below mm -hmm. the way. The Vorpo was doing the, the doing the work. It really was. Yeah. Can't say yeah. no to the game changer. But yeah. So, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that really. Because, you know, this was kind of chaotic, so there's probably some stuff we missed that we could be asking about, but y'all y'all moved fast and hit hard, so, you know, there's a lot of stuff that was going on. Um, but, yeah, SVJ, do you have any other questions, or should we go ahead and get Will's I, No, it was, uh, again, I, I, I actually want to thank, you know, ADR for restreaming this for us. We appreciate it. Um, Wote, my co-commentator, pulled in double duty co-commentating with me, as well as tracking chat of course for helping us with tracking um the simpsons selling simp giddy lee simp the game changers will cleosis falconic what a great race thank you guys very much for that it was exciting to watch all right uh will before i get your final thoughts i guess the only other question i have is like uh do you and falconic or first of all do y'all know when your game two is have y'all scheduled that yet no, I don't think it's been discussed that I know of. Uh, if I kind of like you does the scheduling, I just got promoted again the fourth time in four years at my occupation last week. So right. don't want to say yeah. congratulations or I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, me too. Believe me. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, usually uh, he'll do some scheduling and, and that sort of thing. So no, I have no information on that whatsoever. Plus I got to get with him with what's going on at home. Like I said, it's not too big of a big deal, but he had some things he had to do real quick. And I said, get out of here. I'll take care. I'll go, I'll go talk to Wot. Yeah, I'm just saying, wait. <laughs> When you talk to him, just let him know that we're we hope everything everything's fine with him there. Agreed. Um But uh, so, do you for y'all foresee any uh, change ups to your approach for game two, or are y'all gonna stick with the plan that y'all been practicing on, and you know just count on next time the uh, dice rolling a little bit better in your favor? There won't be any changes. Uh, it would be uh, maybe a little bit of RNG. Maybe someone else goes the wrong way. Um, we had a good early game. I felt really good about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was no, good. Yeah, y'all, uh, yeah, y'all, like I said, y'all had the edge most of the way through. It really was, the turning point was that chaos fight, I feel like, um, at least for Falconic finishing. Yeah, um, and you know what? Hey, whatever happens, happens. I, yeah. It's okay. We're here for fun. I mean, I'm retired. We all know that, I think. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, still going after that title, sure. But uh, Get your walk yeah, around yeah. and start, you know. You know. <laughs> Please don't hit me, Daddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that walker's got a hidden uh, vorpal in it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Will, anything else you wanted to add before we uh, go ahead and wrap up uh, the shop here? Yeah, ADR, Adam, doing a lot of work in Final Fantasy here. Well, yes. SVJ, we've we've all been there. All three of us have done a lot mm -hmm. of work for this video game. And this and Adam, ADR, thank you. You've, <laughs> we've been there, and we know how difficult it can be. So thank you, thank you. Uh, Walt, great to hear from you. An honor for you to call. You know, a match. Have you ever called me before? I, I've called you a couple of times, yeah, but man, okay. you know, it's it's good to talk to you. It's been a while, <laughs> and I'm glad to hear yeah. your voice. <laughs> Thanks, man. Same to you. And SVJ, pleasure, man. Thank you, well, sir. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. everything. I hope you liked my poison sounds that I left in for you for a while. I, I, I was <laughs> unable to hear them, but I imagined them very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, they were there. Yeah, I, and, believe, uh, I saw. I saw. I saw what you were doing. I... <laughs> um, thank you to everyone, and uh, you know, enjoy the show, uh, enjoy the game if you like it, and uh, thank you. It's uh, I'm I'm in the tail end of my career. It's if it's even still there. So uh, oh, it's there. It's there. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good thank race. You. It was a good race. You, it was it was close. I, I'm not, you know, there 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 was no there there was no clear lead. Honestly, there, it was just it was super tight each time. It, it was it was a great race to watch. Good. Appreciate it. And thank you, guys. Appreciate it, Adam. Uh, Wolfster. And no uh, SVJ, the Cinderella man. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, just to kind of add to what SVJ said before we wrap up here, Adam did also help out with the tracking. I just want to give him a shout out there. There were Cheers. some things I, I went to click on and saw they were already clicked, so I knew who was the responsible party there. Um, but, otherwise, yeah, if you enjoyed the show and you're not already in the Discord, FinalFantasyRandomizer.com has all the links you need to come join us, and there will be 
a restream for game two and will be posted there. And if you enjoyed this, you're going to want to see the re the, 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 the uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. And hopefully the three full. I'm I'm going to be pulling for the game changers to tie the series up because I want to see three matches. I will. I, I go game changers. Hashtag game changer. <laughs> sorry, Simpsons. I've never seen I've never seen your show, so I have to go with the game changers. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, but yeah. So uh, for all of us here at Final Fantasy Randomizer, thank you for watching and uh, see y'all next time. Take care, everyone.